Boxing Boys here with highly touted Golden Boy prospect Hector Tanahata Jr. here in San Antonio at the Robert Garcia Boxing Academy. You're visiting home for a couple of weeks before you go back to the Robert Garcia Boxing Academy in California uh, to train. First off, how was your trip um, back and what is that like having to, you know, just come back on vacation and then go back to training camp somewhere else? I mean, uh, the trip back was good. You know, I'm just enjoying my family. Um, um, glad, you know, had glad to be back and enjoying time with them. And um, it's, um, I mean, I guess I'm used to it. So going back is just not, not a big deal. Just ready to put the work in again. Yeah, we were talking about how it's a different scenery. You know, the food's different out there. The weather's different, probably for better. But, um, you know, but the atmosphere in your gym is, is really good. You got a lot of world champions. You got Mike Garcia come back. You got a lot of uh, high level sparring. Yeah. And uh, so, man, uh, you know, seeing you again, I haven't seen you in a, f in a few months. Uh, you know, how are things been going late, lately out there at the Robert Garcia Box Academy in California uh, coming off that win you had not too long ago? Uh, they've been going good. You know, I feel like I've, I've been developing uh, since I've been there. You know, my skills have been showing in my couple my fights and um, my body's, you know, finally filling, filling in and um, getting, you know, a lot of great work with, like you said, uh, Mike Garcia, who's coming back July 30th, and uh, a lot of great other boxers like uh, Nano Rodriguez, uh, Mike Perez, and um, uh, just great work at the RGBA. Yeah, and that's one thing. I've I seen you work out a few times, and seeing you this time, I'm noticing the, a lot more thud and a lot more power, especially in your body shots. And you were always a boxer that liked to keep a distance, and now you're, now you're fighting to the body with, with bad intentions. Uh, well, was that something you had to, um, you know, tailor yourself to um, and, and transition to going into the pros, especially, especially seeing that Robert Garcia, that's what they specialize in? Yeah, um, it was something, you know, I had to transition into. Um, in the pros, you know, the body is uh, very important. You know, you got to hit the body, especially going into later rounds. You know, that's gonna it's gonna help you out. It's gonna benefit you. So, um, you know, I've been trying to work the body, and it's been showing in my last couple fights. Yeah, and there's a lot of eyes on you. And I know you said this is gonna be your last six rounders before you go eight rounders, and they want to move you kind of fast. And you're already picking up a lot of steam with only six fights as far as popularity. Uh, have you noticed that? And is, is I mean, and how does that? What's going through your mind when you hear stuff like that? Uh, yeah, it's going to be my last six rounder and go eight, but um, it's just I'll, probably, you know, it's m more motivation for me, you know, um, hearing uh, people talk good about me and everyone here asking me when I'm going to fight here, you know, everyone's, you know, real interested. So it's just motivation for me, you know, train harder and just keep uh, stacking up the wins. Yeah, and one thing I want to do, uh, ask you about it, and a lot of people are probably wondering is now that, you know, Robert Garcia... He's a trainer, but he also has a management company, and you're one of the one of the first. And it seems like there's everything's in place. They have, you know, a ranch where all the fighters stay. They got the gyms. You got all the sparring, and uh, you know, and they, they work with all promoters. So for you as a fighter, how's your experience been with Robert Garcia Management? Oh, uh, you know, it's been a great experience. Um, uh, Garcia Management, you know, has been helping me since I turned pro, and it's just, uh, you know, I'm glad to be one of the first ones, kind of like one, I guess one of the pioneers of. You know, establishing the, the management and um, just looking uh, to make a good name for them. Well, I mean, who, who exactly is running it? Is it Robert that runs it? Um, uh, actually, who, who actually runs the management? He, is he the one who makes all the decisions as far as communicating with Golden Boy for your fights? Uh, yes, sir. Robert Robert Garcia is the one that does everything. All right, and they got a, They got a you know a good. They seem to have good rapport out there. Everybody gets along. Uh, there's a lot of pranksters out there. You know, it seems like they're having fun and they get down to business when it's time to get down to business. So, uh, what's the atmosphere like in the gym? Um, seeing that it's it's kind of like a, a little fraternity. Yeah, it's like it's like family. You know, um, you get you could joke around with them and everything's the same like I do with my family here. But you know, when it's time to work, they definitely you know they definitely get down and, and start working. But but yeah, I like the atmosphere there. It's a real like family uh, oriented uh, gym. All right, how excited are you seeing that Golden Boy is is you know they're going through a transition themselves and they're they're really pushing all the young fighters out there and you're one of the one of the guys they're pushing out along with uh, Josh Franco here from San Antonio as well. Um, what is that like for you being one of the you know, one of the kids is spearheading the next generation of of, of uh, young you know prospects? You know, it's an honor. You know, um, Golden Boy is. Uh, going on up right now and um, they have a lot of young fighters like me, Joshua Franco, you know, Jonathan Navarro that are, you know, trying to make that push hopefully in a few years uh, become world champions. All right, and then uh, coming up on your fight in August, you don't have an opponent yet and it's going to be your last six round. Um, th there's been a lot of uh, noticeable changes in your, your style um, to a positive note, seeing how you're, 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 you're getting 
more calm as a pro. You're sitting down, your punches, you're setting everything up nice, and and you're you're composing there. So uh, I mean, uh, what's that like for you now that you know you haven't even been a pro yet, and you know what, what's and you're thinking clearly in the in the ring as you're fighting? Do, do you feel comfortable in your skin as a pro fighter? Um, right now I do, but um, I know with more fights as it come even more experience, uh, you know more rounds. But um, yeah, I feel comfortable in my skin, you know, my style and everything. And honestly, all that comes from, you know, all the great sparring I get at, at the gym. Yeah, and you, uh, your, your anniversary for a pro is going to be in August, and you've already made these strides. Um, how fast has this year gone for you? Oh, man, it blew by. I, I didn't, I have six fights, you know, already. Hopefully, uh, get one more before, you know, um, or at the same time I turn pro. That'd be, uh, you know, that'd be seven fights in one year, so that's a pretty good, you know, pretty fast uh, movement and um, I just I'm just glad with uh, with how my career is going and Golden Boy pushing me and and how everything's going out right now what, what was the hardest thing to transition to coming from you know you're a really high level amateur going into you know uh, a, a premier promotion like Golden Boy um, like transition wise what was the hardest thing to um, nothing really I think uh, probably just maturing as I you know I'm getting older and stuff, you know, um, learning things as, I, as, I, as I'm there, you know, living by myself and stuff. So I guess I'm just becoming, you know, uh, grown up. All right. And you, you said your body's maturing, you're feeling the power, you're feeling your, your body come along and you're 19, so you probably have another couple of uh, growth spurts left. But, uh, you know, going into, the, into this, the pro ranks the way you are with the, the type of style that they like to specialize in down there, uh, do you think that best suits you since you're a natural boxer, but they can make you into a... Uh, you know, a superb body puncher as well. Yeah, it suits me good, you know, because I already got the outside game and um, working with them, I, you know, working on my inside game and to the body, you know, um, I could either box you or I could, you know, stay in the inside. So my game's evolving and I'll just be ready for whatever type of fight I'm in. All right, what, what, what do you want uh, out of the, the rest of the year going into 2017? I mean, what, what's your goal with the hit at the end of the year and uh, what would you like to, you know, put on the mantle going into the, to the second year as a pro? Uh, you know, just finish the year out good and um, get more experience, more rounds in, and um, hopefully, you know, get closer to my dream of becoming a world champion little by little. All right, man. Well, I mean, you're, you're making great strides. I appreciate the time. You know, there's a lot of buzz here, and uh, hopefully they could get that fight down here in San Antonio. A lot of people are clamoring for your return. Um, and uh, also, is there any talks of that, you know, if you may be coming to San Antonio soon? Uh, no, thank you, you know, for always supporting me, but um, hopefully, I, I, I haven't heard no talk, but hopefully, you know, um, uh, God willing, I fight here soon and uh, fight in front of, you know, my fans here in San Antonio. All right, appreciate it. Looking forward to it. We'll be watching uh, San Antonio prospect Hector Nahada Jr. signing out.